Hey y'all, Andrea from Andrea Speaks TV and I'm back to bring you news and commentary you can use. Listen, I hope that you are doing well. It's a beautiful, sunny uh, day here in Georgia. It's what y'all, today is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, pretty warm, okay? It's actually uh, 72 degrees now, so it feels good outside. Listen y'all, this video is going to be short. I just wanted to come on and speak about this, but please believe I will be doing uh, a more in-depth video okay to talk about in more detail the topic of this particular video okay I happen to come across this story you all know there's so much going on uh, in one of my recent video uploads I was telling you all you know I hate to be the bearer of bad news but it seems like each week right there's something that happens each week or maybe every month okay that should show you us the American people that we are not being put first. We are not being put first in terms of priorities. We are not being put first in terms of real solutions that will benefit the American people. Do you all agree or disagree? Please let me know your thoughts on that. But what I wanna talk about in this, in this particular video, I came across this story and it took me a minute. I had to really say, really? Y'all, do you know, or even if you did not know, right? Right now, the U.S. Supreme Court, okay, is hearing a case, okay, both sides of a case, right, where basically the outcome could end up being, you ready for this? Listen, that homelessness is criminalized. Yes, y'all, yes. That could very well possibly be the outcome. But like I said, I don't have all the information in front of me, okay? I will be doing another uh, video going more into detail. But that is a case. There's a case right now, okay? I believe the city at the center of the case, okay? Please correct me if I'm wrong, is Grant Pass, Oregon, okay? The city of Grant Pass, Oregon. Now, from my understanding, uh, I've done a little bit of research. They have a uh, growing... Uh, homelessness people who are sometimes it's also referred to as unsheltered okay uh, there they have what is being described as a growing homelessness concern so much so that there are homeless camps okay sometime when uh, the uh, people have the different tents set up okay they refer to them as homeless camps set up in public places such as parks okay and the residents in that community of Grant Pass they're becoming concerned and they're looking for uh, solutions to help curb this growing what they're describing as this growing problem okay now you all have heard me you all have seen me uh, speak about this on the channel uh, I travel uh, daily and so I see uh, evidence of people who are what some people would describe as homeless, unsheltered, whether it's beside the road, okay, on a major interstate, right, or in a grassy area, or whether it's under the overpass, uh, under a bridge, different areas uh, like that. And so, uh, you know, we have spoke about here on the channel how it is a growing concern. Now, at the same time, not only is this a concern in the city of Grant Pass, Oregon, but it's also a concern <clears throat> amongst uh, different areas, different cities throughout the United States. So it's not just uh, limited to one particular city or one particular state or one particular community. You may, depending on where you live, you may see uh, some of this as well, okay? Now, like I said, I'm going to go into more detail, so I'm just giving my, you know, first thoughts. What does that say, y'all? Oh, my goodness. What does that say about us as a country when we're taking the issue of homelessness all the way to the Supreme Court, so much so that it could be criminalized, okay, meaning that people who are sleeping at parks um, outside uh, as well it's very detailed okay they're going I heard a little bit of the case and they're having to define 
what is homelessness okay they're also looking at uh the eighth amendment okay and also there is no from my understanding again please correct me if i'm wrong but there's no precedent okay they have no case this is the first time i believe that a, an issue like this has made it all the way to the supreme court and it has become a thing basically okay um what does that say about us as a nation when the uh, issue of homelessness and homeless ban okay has made it all the way to the supreme court and i say that because rather than empower communities okay and people in these communities to become uh financially economically empowered um rather than purchase land to whether it's make shelters or empower people to own homes or build what some would call affordable housing instead of our current leadership okay here in the u.s doing that more of that providing real solutions let me be very clear okay they may have done that in the past but was it a real solution that makes the difference i feel like in my opinion instead of doing those things taking those steps again we're doing what sending money overseas to help other countries instead of helping our own people right here in america okay some of who which i've been told are homeless veterans okay oh my goodness again what does that say about us as a country when we have men men and women who have served our country they are out on the streets now for whatever reason okay they cannot whether they cannot afford housing or find housing um even if it's due to no fault of their own right and it's very it's a very concerning thing um i I definitely want to know your thoughts about it so please let me know how you feel about it in the comments uh like i said i will be doing some more research because the case is very detailed there are a lot of um both sides whether they're for this potential homeless van uh making criminalizing this homeless van uh, the, there are people who are for it that are presenting their reasons. There are people who are against it who are presenting their reasons. And it's a very complex case, okay? The Supreme Court, okay, one thing that I can say based on what I have heard so far in the uh, pieces of the case that have, uh, the presentation of the case that have been shared, they are asking questions, okay, specifically about it being criminalized, whether or not this uh, uh a uh, proposed ban would be in fact what they term as cruel and unusual punishment it's a very concerning uh thing okay definitely one i feel like that we should pay attention to uh and discuss here okay so those are my initial thoughts um going back to what i was saying about empowering communities empowering the communities you know whether it's putting the financial resources uh, educating people on home ownership, um, uh, financial literacy, they term, improving the education in those areas, job creation, job opportunities, entrepreneurship opportunities, access to um, whether it's lending or other financial resources. Those are some, just some of the ways, okay, not all of the ways. But those are just some of the ways, right, that uh, communities can be uh, empowered, okay? And we don't even have to have this conversation to know that not all communities are uh, created equally, okay? Uh, there are some communities, maybe some even in your city where you can look and you can see one side, one side of town. One side of town is obviously very different than the other side of town, okay? So I'm going to keep my eye out on this story. Uh, I have some things coming up and I may not get to upload the more detailed video tonight, but I will try to have it up sometime tomorrow, by, sometime by tomorrow, okay? I want to say thank you all so much for supporting me here on the channel. Very concerning the times that we're living in. Again, what does that say about our country, okay? Now, I'm not saying that there are not, uh, that the city of Grant Pass uh, should not be concerned because quite naturally, there are some concerns, for example, if you're with your family and you want to take a walk in the park or, you know, you want to have your children playing freely in the park with supervision, 
but then there are several tents that are set up and there are people you know around and maybe walking around you just you got in those situations especially where children is concerned you you got to be you just got to be careful okay and you know you do want to have a sense of safety and security in cases like that as well as other cases okay uh, whether you're walking in the park by yourself or visiting some other area you want to be you want to feel like you're safe <clears throat> you want to feel like you can uh, go there freely or within the hours safely uh, bring your family there including children safely children uh, young adults teens there safely okay no matter what age safety is is very important so I'm gonna look up and figure out exactly what's going on uh, how long this has been going on in Grant, pa Grant Pass Oregon and how did it in fact make it all the way to the Supreme Court will we see other cases like this this already has been labeled a landmark case, y'all, okay? And I want to know your thoughts. What do you think the outcome will be? Do you think these people are right? Do you think they're wrong? Uh, do you disagree or do you agree with some of the things I've said, okay? Share it in the comments below and we'll talk about this later, okay? Talk to you all uh, in the next video. Thank you again for your support right here on Andrea Speaks TV.